Welcome to 519 Diecast. Got my weekend all here. I got quite a bit of stuff. I got a lot of M2s and I got a couple chases in those M2s. So that's pretty cool. I got some Johnny Lightning, Auto World, Green Light, uh, Mini GT, um, Matchbox. You know, a little bit of everything. You know how it goes. I usually get a little bit of everything. So to start out with here, we have the Mini GT. This is a Shelby GT500 Dragon Snake Concept. Now I've showed all the ones I've had so far. This is the last one I have. I'm waiting for the purple one. And uh, hopefully it comes in soon. I'm not sure when, but uh, yeah, it's on uh, pre-order. So this is the one in blue. Looks fantastic. Absolutely love it. And they all have a different Dragon Snake logo on the back fender. Which, once I get the purple one, I'll bring them all out. And I'm going to show you the, uh, all the different logos I put on them. But again, just awesome. Just great paint on this. The color blue is pretty wild. Absolutely love it. They did a fantastic job with these. And I think if you find one, pick one up. You know, because I think you're going to be really impressed. I just love these Mustangs. Especially the Dragon Snake. Pretty cool. It's got that extra large spoiler on the back. That's awesome. Shelby on the back there. Just awesome. Absolutely love it. So that's the only Mini GT I got, but I do have the Green Light 71 Pontiac GTO, which is from the Barrett Jackson set, which uh, I said uh, I wanted to open it up in the worst way. And uh, I actually found another one. I haven't got my case yet, so I did pick up another one to open it. And here it is. This thing is done so nice. This is John or Green Light. They did a bang up job with this car. Absolutely love this car. They did a fantastic job. And for uh, what are they like nine dollars or something here in Canada? That is a nice, nice car right there. The paint is beauty on it. The hood opens, which I had open. There we go. Get her open and it's got the right colored blue for the engine for Pontiac right there not a whole lot of detail in there but you know what that's the right color for the engine for sure there's the front and close the hood right there she's a beauty hood could close a little better I guess but you know what it's nice beauty what an awesome car they did a, a great job with this there's detail on the interior there looks a little mark that could be where my fingers on it probably yeah cleans right off yeah beauty car 71 pontiac gto did a great job with this fantastic looks fantastic in that black love it proper wheels yes they did a nice job there's the bottom neighbor she is a beaut. Absolutely love it. I'm glad I opened it finally. Awesome. And then I got this here. This is Hot Wheels, a 1955 Corvette. And this is from the Vintage Racer set. Because the blister was broke, I did manage to find another one that wasn't broke. So I opened this one up to let you all see it out the package. Not a fan of the color, but a pretty cool car all in all. It's uh Done with this like baby blue with the brown interior, black racing stripes. Really, this uh, vintage racing set is a nice set. It really is. I was uh, quite happy to get my last one, which was the Chase, which was number six, which was a Camaro. And uh, this one here has a metal base as well. So that is pretty good. It's a heavy little car, but it's nice. Not bad. So that's what it looks like out the package anyways. Because I know there's a lot of guys that don't take them out the package. And I'm actually one of them. But lately I've been taking some out just to let you all see them a little better. So yeah. Pretty cool casting. Not bad at all. And then sticking with the Hot Wheels is this one here. Which is the Corvette Stingray it's called. And I said in last weekend's video, it looks like a plastic body on it. And yes, it is absolutely a plastic body, but it's got a metal base. 
So yeah, I had to open it up and let you all see it, that it is a plastic body. Now, it is what it is, but it's pretty cool. If you have one of these castings in a die cast, you can take that base off and pop it on it. So you'd have a full metal car. But it's pretty cool. It's not bad for a plastic little car. Like I said, it does have the metal base. The body is plastic, the base is metal. So that's all right. Not too bad. Yeah, it's whatever. And then we got this here Porsche. It's a five or three five six by Matchbox, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. It was uh, pretty sought after this one here. I don't know if it's a. I guess it is a new casting. It says new for 2024. I'm going to show you what these all look like in the package after I'm done this, and uh, when I go to do my carded stuff. But the, the rear engine bay does open on this, which it takes a little bit of a tweak to get it open. I already had it open. I'm going to get it open again to show you. It, didn't, it doesn't like to open, but I had to use my knife to get it open. That's really bad. But you can see a little bit in there, not a lot, but it does open. But it is actually a pretty cool casting. I do like it for an older car and it's matchbox looks all right nothing wrong with that I know there's a Bronco out there and uh, I'm not holding my breath on finding it but I'm really hoping I do find that Bronco I think that looks really nice what pictures I've seen of it so now see this thing does not want to close quite right once you get it open there she goes we got her closed yeah there's that so, it's all right. Pretty cool little car. So I'm gonna pack this all up and I'm going to show you all my carded stuff and show you this stuff in its card so you know what to look for. So while you're waiting, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Hey, we're back and I'm gonna show you what they look like in their cards. This one here is the Shelby GT500 Dragon Snake concept right there mini GT so there's the package that you're going to be looking for for that one awesome car awesome absolutely love it then we got the Bear Jackson um, GTO 71 GTO beauty car absolutely love that one that thing whew, love it and then we have the 55 Corvette in the vintage racing club series and then we have the uh, Corvette Stingray mainline with the plastic body. And of course we got moving parts, the Porsche. So yeah, those are what you look for. So I'm going to start out with the M2s because I've got so many of them. Then I'll get into the green light, Johnny Lightning, all that other stuff. So we got this one here. I ordered this on Friday. And I got it today, which is Monday. I am a day late because I was picking up cars late last night too. So uh, that's why I'm a day late on this. So this is a 1966 Dodge L600 cab over engine and a 1971 Dodge Challenger funny car. Absolutely love it. I got a shout out to uh, Nice Car Diecast because it was so fast. They shipped it. I ordered it Friday and I got it here Monday. They're, they're in Quebec. And... Uh, the only problem with it is they sent a wrong vehicle, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But there's the uh, the truck. It looks pretty cool, but it, it seems to look really, really like plastic. And it is plastic, I know that, but it, it really shows that it is plastic. It doesn't, uh, it's not done nice, I guess. I don't know what it is. It's, it's really bad looking plastic. But I love it because it is drag racing. It looks pretty good, but you know, it does look a little cheap with that box. I, maybe it's the color of it. I'm not sure what it is, but it does look make it look like a plastic toy, that box. It's on the, uh, well, flatbed, I guess, on the truck. And then the dragster. Absolutely love it. And this one here has slicks on it by the looks of it. There's no tread on those wheels. Not that I can see. It looks pretty smooth back there. But yeah, awesome. You can see of it. Pretty cool car. Love it. Love it. Done in yellow with the uh, stars and 
on the top with the blue. Just awesome. Just, yeah, I absolutely love it. It's drag racing. Absolutely love it. There's the back of her. Yeah. So that one there is one that I did absolutely want. And I know I do complete stuff, but this is one that I wasn't going to complete because of this. I, I'm not a fan of this one. So I've uh, messaged them about my Ford truck because it is a Ford truck that I had ordered. And I got this one instead, which is a 1973 Chevy Cheyenne Super 30 and a 1975 GMC Sierra Grande 15. Uh, the colors on this, they're not, not nice. You know, it's not really a nice set, this one here. I, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't look quite right. But... Uh, Oh no, it's all right, I guess. There's the front. I'm gonna show it in case they want me to send it back. I'm leaving their price tag on it, which you can see it cost me thirty dollars Canadian. But there's the front, and probably I'll end up just keeping it. Oh yeah, the truck is not bad. I think it's the colors. The trucks are fine. I think it's the colors. They just don't do them any justice I don't think but uh, eh, it is what it is I think that's what it is just the colors not not happy with the colors and then we got this here this was to release 85 which I was missing last week when I showed this set I was missing this truck and uh, Paul thank you he found it for me so I did get it I did finish this set this is release 85 it is done. So, yeah, it's pretty sought after little truck, I guess. They're back into the square bodies. You know, it is what it is. But, yeah, I got her. Happy, 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 happy. And then I got this new set, which is a little different. It's Coca Cola again. And uh, these just hit the pegs last night that's how I was out looking a 1990 Ford Mustang GT and it looks good I, I do like it it's a nice casting of this car the wheels look pretty good on it gray interior it is coke you know they, they put out a lot of coke stuff but I guess they that's their sponsor I guess they pay for it so but we end up paying for it too because they're not cheap I think they're like $18 a piece here in Canada but whatever that's one and of course I gotta get the whole set it's uh, a 42 and then we have the 1979 Dodge F-150 F oh my goodness Dodge 150 power wagon I don't know I see that 50 150 and I always want to say F-150 I'm a Ford guy I don't know there's the truck anyways actually the truck looks good box is a little crooked that's normal that's normal quality control from m2 you know i think they would have something if they would step up their game with their quality control their quality control is 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 not good it really isn't like what they do cast and everything i do like it but uh the fit and finish and the quality control on this stuff is not good they need, really need to smarten up with that i think and then there's a 1959 Volkswagen Microbus Deluxe USA model, which is pretty cool, this one here, because there's no top in it. And I think this is the first time I've seen one without the top in it. I think that's pretty neat. I've got lots of M2 Volkswagens, and I don't remember any of them missing the top part out of it. The gray interior. There's mum on the side. Now, I don't know what what it all means this mom and the other one's dad and the other one's grad so I don't know what that's all about maybe you know let me know in the comments which I have to get on that again I'm getting far behind on those things and then we got release 106 and this is the the auto driver series this is a 1968 ford mustang gt390 which is very nice it looks good it's done in a pale what uh yellow with the black interior it looks pretty good yeah it's not bad at all that one there looks all right and people are not going for for these ones i don't know why you see these ones everywhere 
and this is the other one that goes with it and they are picking this one up 1968 Dodge Charger uh, Daytona Hemi right there and she does have the fin on the back it's orange with the white stripe and the brown interior it's a pretty cool car I do like this car and I understand why they're taking this one oh dropping it yeah it is a cool car for sure I like my Daytonas pretty popular car around here too and the spoiler is still on this one which is really neat and then we have the 19 59 GMC fleet side truck done in blue with the white interior that thing is awesome and this one does come as a chase there's a front right there that's a good looking truck they did a nice job with that I think anyways and actually Mrs. 519 found the chase there's the chase right there she got the gold wheels gold interior yeah, she got lucky. She got the chase. I did not find this. She found it. There it is. That's the chase. One of 750 pieces. See the difference beside each other. So yeah, chase and non-chase. Chase actually looks pretty good in the gold. I don't mind that at all. So yeah, she got lucky with the chase. For sure. And then I guess I should do this one here because this is one I was missing last week too to finish that set this is release 38 and it's a 73 Chevy Cheyenne Super 30 so that's the uh, one I was missing right there and again I have to thank Paul for that because he found it for me I understand why they're after it it's slammed it's a dually uh, it looks good you know it's in green which is not bad but it's a nice looking truck it really is she's got the big wheels on her yeah that's pretty sharp I understand why uh, I didn't run across it right out the hop but uh, she's a beaut it's a good looking truck not bad at all pretty nice and of course I'll show you the ones that go with it is this one here which I showed last weekend and of course the Grand National was the other one so I did finish that set now happy happy with that and I guess I can show you this other one that I well actually again Paul thank you he found it for me and this is the one from last week's set I believe I showed this set and uh, I had the regular version and now there's the chase right there it's got the gold wheels 1978 Dodge Adventure 150 almost said it almost said it there it is gold grill there's gold interior in it and there it is and there's the back now some of them with these chases they do uh, you know the gold hoist as well I think that's just on the build a kit sort of deal but uh, yeah there's the quality control look at those wheels they are just messed up on that bottom truck. They're not on that rim at all properly. It's just, it's terrible. It's, it's a mess. But I'm sure it can be fixed. Take it out. You know, take a look at the original version of it is right there. And again, the wheels are just jacked on this one as well. Not good. But yeah, so there's the difference. Chase and non-chase right there. So that's the chase. So, we'll get into some more. I think this is it. That's my last bunch of uh, M2s I have right here. And this is release 75. This is the Authentics. This is 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442 W30. Looks good in that uh, wine color, I guess it would be, with the gold. Black interior. Not a bad looking car at all. Actually, this whole set is not bad I, I like this set yeah that is it there's the back of her got the fin skinny little wheels that's a shame but well they got to work on that I think and then we got the 1966 Chevy Corvette 327 
Now I do like this casting. I have this casting quite a bit. I even have it in a goose chase. It's got the tan interior, but it's almost a pearl white. And it looks really good in that color. It's got side pipes on her. Not a bad looking machine at all. Very cool. This casting has been around for quite a while. You know, but it's still nice. It's a nice casting of that car. Then we have the 1976 GMC Sierra Grande 15, which I was lucky to get this because they had just put this set out. So that's how I managed to get them all one shot because I'm sure this one here would have been missing. Done in the white with the red or maroon, I guess. Looks good. Red interior. It's a good looking truck. I think this one here will be sought after now that everybody's after these square bodies again. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah, I understand why they're taking them, I guess. There's the back. I'm not a Chev guy, but, you know, it does look good. Quality control, not too bad on this one. Doesn't look too bad. And then this one here, love it. Absolutely love it. You know, and I, it, it was almost tempting to take the other one just to uh, open it up, but... I'm not that guy. I can't do it. Uh, it's, let somebody else get the full set. And it's a 1971 Dodge Challenger funny car. Love it. Love the drag racing stuff. Absolutely love it. Done in this yellow with the black race or black flamed. Just a good looking car. Now they're reproducing this casting quite a bit now, but it's all right. They keep putting different paint schemes on it. Looks good. Love it, love it, love it. Love the drag racing. And I can't see what those wheels look like. I don't know if they got treads or if they're slicks. I'll see it when I watch the on the television. I will be able to find out. And then we got the 1965 Ford Falcon Club Wagon. Now this is done in a pretty cool green. I do like it. You know, you'd almost think it was a chase because of the color. But it's not. This is just your regular version. Actually, the uh, Chev truck would have been the chase in that set, which is that one. That would have been the chase, but uh, yeah, I didn't get it. But this is uh, the Ford van, and it looks good in that color. Slam, red lines on it, brown interior in it. It's a cool color. I really like the color of this one. I think that's awesome. There's the back. All righty. One that's really nice, I like this one a lot, and it's the 66 Ford Mustang 2 Plus 2. I like the color of it, with the gray with the orange striping on it. It really pops. It looks really, really good. It's a good looking car. You know, you can tell the fit and finish on that door is a little off, but it is what it is. It is M2. You got to expect it. But yeah, the stance is pretty cool on it. I like it. There's a the front. It's a good looking car. Like the paint scheme. Really like that paint scheme on this car. Just awesome. There's the back of her. Yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, we'll put these ones up back real quick. And then we'll do, I'm going to show you a couple Hot Wheels and then I'll get into my Johnny Lightning, which I got my order in from round two. So. I have some for next week too. We have these Hot Wheel Premiums, Car Culture, two packs. It's a Toyota Land Cruiser and the Mercedes Benz Sprinter. Now I have to thank Phil for this one because I could not get this one. This one here is flying off the shelf. I was really, really surprised by that because I could not find it anywhere. I could get the other two to this set and, uh, I talked to Phil about it, and he said, oh, I got one of those. So, yeah. Thanks a lot, Phil. Appreciate that. There's the back. It's a good-looking truck. It is pretty awesome. But I was surprised, because I didn't think that this one would be so popular. Especially with the uh, cube van type deal in it, Mercedes. But it's pretty cool. Not bad, but I think it's probably this vehicle that they're really after. I'm not... 100% sure, but I'm guessing it would be. Yeah, nice set. 
not bad at all and then it goes with this one here's the the Mazda Miata and the Mazda RX-7 which I thought this one would be probably pretty sought after but I've seen these on the pegs and I don't seem to be bothering with it too much the brown wheels doesn't do this car any justice I know it's hard to see in these packages like this but I can't open everything I've already run out of room oh so yeah it's that one and then this one here it's actually a pretty cool casting now I I would guess it's a new casting for Hot Wheels because I do not recognize that car at all it's got like a wide body kit on it as well yeah I think that is a new casting for them and again brown wheels uh, it doesn't do it justice black interior it's a cool looking casting you know I probably should find another one of these and open it up and show that one a little better and see what happens maybe I can get one for next week and we'll open that one up and take a look at that because it's actually a pretty cool looking car I like it it's all right and the third one that goes with that is the Ford's Crossworth both of them one's a 87 the other one is a 93 you know, this the 93 is a Ford Escort RS Crossworth and this one here is the 87 Ford Sierra Crossworth with shell livery on it again pretty cool I think this one here would be sought after but uh, again seeing them on the pegs and of course I don't grab two at a time I just grab one set if I can and uh, yeah I probably should look at them a little better because I might just open one I don't know until I start looking at them and there's the white one looks pretty good yeah so I might look for another one of those uh, Mazda ones just to open it up yeah, that's not a bad looking car there shell awesome love it and then I guess heck I got a couple matchbox here I picked this one here up I don't remember having a matchbox cutlass I think this is the first one for me and the stance is really different it sits really really high on this it's not bad these things are getting expensive these were uh, nine dollars for with this car and that's matchbox it's getting a little pricey over here for this stuff too but uh, it's pretty cool I think this is the only casting I have from matchbox for a cutlass 442 I think they did a pretty nice job. And of course, the doors open on this one. It's a good looking car. Nothing wrong with that. I like it. And something new for us is these red cards. Now, I have to thank Paul for this because he found it. Uh, I've seen lots of people post and show in other videos in the States that they have these red cards. This is the first one we've seen here in Canada. That I've seen anyways. I haven't seen anybody else post anything about these things. But uh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And it's a Mazda MX-5 Miata. Done in red with the white striping, gray interior. It's actually a pretty cool looking car. Now I'm sure there's a series of these. But I don't know if I'll ever see any more. I think we just got lucky with this one. But it's actually a pretty cool car. I like that. Did a nice job with that one for sure. Now well, I guess we'll get into some green lights and then we'll do the Johnny Lightning and Auto World. This video has gone way too long. And we have Blue Line Racing. Oh, it's 25 years of Blue Line Racing. And it is the Dodge Challenger SRT8, which is pretty awesome. It's a police car, police racing car, I guess it is. And, of course... If you watch my channel, Adam is in the U.S. and he sends me a lot of stuff. And that's why I picked this up. This is a hobby exclusive. And this will be going to, to him. And I think that is a pretty cool car. I might even grab myself another one. I'll have to order it. But I think that's pretty cool. Police car. And another one that goes with it is this one here. The 2009 Ford Mustang GT. And these are Canadian. Edmonton. Edmonton, Alberta, right there. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. Done in like a matte black. 
looks awesome. And Greenlight did a pretty nice job with this car. Nice casting of this car. Good clean. Lots of decals. Like it's it's done pretty nice. So I don't know how many of these uh, 25 years of Blue Line racing there is in this series. But I managed to find two. So I grabbed them to send to the U.S. to Adam. And with my order from... Um, whoa. Can't even think of who I ordered it from now. I said it earlier in the video. Ah, uh, nice car die cast. I ordered this, and I don't know if I have it or not. I, I don't know if I have this color, so that's why I ordered it. 1976 F250 with large camper. Now I do have two of these. I know one is green, and I'm not sure about the other color. And it could be this one too. I don't know. I might have two of these now, and if I do, this one here will be opened. But it's just cool. It's my truck. It's my Ford truck. So, yeah, I'm all over it. I get so many of these things, you forget what you have and what you don't have. It's really tough. Yeah, that's a pretty cool unit. I like this with the camper. I absolutely love it. And this video has gone way too long. So, I'm going to save some of my Johnny Lightning for next week and some Auto World for you. So, I'm going to do a few of them here. This is Johnny Lightning 1965 Chevy tow truck and it is the Evil Knievel. This is one of 2,496 pieces. Awesome. I got it because it is Evil Knievel. That's the only reason. And actually it's pretty cool. It's a, it's set up as a zinger, you know. But uh, it is cool. It is Evil Knievel. So yeah, I picked her up. Pretty cool truck. Not bad at all. And of course the card art on it is pretty cool. I know a lot of people don't collect cardboard. I do. Just because stuff like that. The card art is just awesome. So yeah, that is fantastic. And for the auto world, I finally got these. Because these are not Canadian. We don't have 7-Eleven in Canada. And I've seen... Many of these on other videos and posts about these when they first come out. They've been out for a long time. And I finally got them. 1967 Chevy Corvette. Pretty cool. I like it. Happy to get it. Because this is something we don't get in Canada. So yeah, that was pretty cool. So yeah, I know they both, this one and the Dodge Viper, which is this one. They both come as chases as well. So this is the 2012 Dodge Viper right there. And a black interior. It's green and the orange and all that neat colors on there. I guess I should have showed you some of the uh, the facts. I don't know if they're both the same on it. But uh, there's the facts. You want to stop it and read it. And by the looks of it, they are different. So there's the, uh, the Corvette facts or whatever. Pause it and read it. And my goodness, we gotta get this going. So we got the 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. I thought this thing was pretty cool. It is a zinger, but it is cool. It's it's awesome. Love it. Done in the black with the white. She's definitely a zinger. There's some uh, fun facts you want to pause it and read it, or freak facts actually. And this is one of 2620. Pieces comes with a little collector's car there. Yeah, it's all right. It's actually a pearl white by the looks of that. It looks pretty good. And of course, Rat Fink. You know, you got 1965 Chevy tow truck, same as the Evil Knievel, just different paint scheme. And of course, this is Rat Fink. Pretty colorful, pretty wild looking. It looks pretty good actually. And then there's some freak facts right there. I'm gonna pause it and read it. There's a front of her. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the Rat Fink stuff. I got quite a bit of it. So, I'm just keeping up with it, I guess. And then we have the 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. Which, uh, looks alright. I don't mind this. It looks, it's a real looking vehicle, for sure. Custom orange and black. Not a bad looking machine. 
I probably should have got another one of these just to open it, but like I said, I just ordered it and I ordered the set, so that's why I got the whole set. And this was one, and there's some freak facts you want to pause it and read it. And then we have the 1957 Chevy Nomad. Awesome. Absolutely love it. I have both versions. This is uh, version B. I do have version A as well, so I'll show A next week. So there it is. There's some freak facts right there if you want to pause it and read it. But again, another cool car. Blacked out with the flames. Just awesome. Yellow glass in it. Red interior. Yeah. Very nice. And it comes with a car as well. And then we have the 24 Hours of Lemon Endurance Racing right there. 1989 Honda CRX. And you'd almost think that was a white lightning with a white interior, but it is not. Not that I can tell. I'm pretty sure it's not. There's no white base. But again, it comes as a set, so we got her. So there's the uh, the facts right there, if you want to pause it and read it. But it's still a pretty cool car. The white interior doesn't do it any justice, but they are just a, an endurance car, so it doesn't matter what they look like. And then the 1929 Ford Mustang A pickup, Model A pickup. Now it's not in scale as the rest of them. Really, this one's way off scale, but it's still pretty cool. It's a project in progress. Awesome. There's some freak facts right there. And there's the front. She's a little weathered, you know. She's in progress. Pretty cool. Awesome. So I guess I'm going to stop it there for now. And uh, yeah, good luck this week. Happy hunting. And thanks for watching. And uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. See ya.